This is valid anagrams from leak code, and this question is also listed in the blind 75. Given two strings, S and T, we want to return true if T is an anagram of S and false if it isn't. So anagram is different than what you might have heard from in the past um, compared to a palindrome. So palindrome reads the same from left to right as it does from right to left. For example, one, two, three, three, two, one. An anagram is simply a, frame, a phrase formed by rearranging the letters of a different word or phrase. So as long as the letter count is the same um, and the length is the same, then it is considered an anagram. Um, so for example, if we look at example one, anagram um, for S, T is an anagram of S because the number of times the letter A, N, G, R, A, M, uh, all those letters occur are the same. Now, if we look at example two, rat and car, you can see that there's an R and there's a C, and there are just letters that appear in T that doesn't happen, that doesn't, that doesn't appear in S. So this is false. Another example is here on the right-hand side, Bobby, right? B-O-B-B-Y, and the group underneath Y, B, O, B, B. These are anagrams because the letter count is the same. What isn't is the one below with an exclamation mark. There's a character here that appears in one which does not exist in the other. It's not a valid anagram. Um, also, if the length is different, then it's not an anagram because there's an extra letter. Now, this is the way you'd want to mentally visualize it. If we're concerned about the occurrence of the characters, we need to create a map. A map that maps the letter to the occurrence. So on the left-hand side, S, right? For anagram, we know that A occurs three times, N occurs once, G once, and so on. Now we need to, have, now we need to compare that to T. So let's go ahead and iterate through each character in T. For starting with N, we know that on the left-hand side, N occurs once. And we need to know, um, does T satisfy the anagram requirements? And if it does, we can subtract N. Um, we can subtract the number one from N. So now our map N is shown as zero. And what we can further do is just delete that key. And you can see from the object in the center, N is gone. And I've just left it as red on the left-hand side. Now we'll shift over to A. And for A, current count is three. And on the right-hand side from letter T, we, can, we want to subtract one from the total. So it becomes two. And we will move on to the next letter, G. G currently occurs once and we'll subtract one. And that becomes zero. And we'll remove that from the object. And we'll move to A. A occurs currently twice now because we've already deleted it once. We subtract one. And we'll move on to the R. R is currently one. We subtract it, it becomes zero, we remove it. A again is one, it becomes zero. We'll remove it from the key. And finally M. M is one, we remove it. And now this is an empty object. And what you can do in JavaScript is do an object.keys and that'll return an empty array, a length of zero. So this is the mindset is S is our template, it's what we are, it's our reference, right? All the letters and its occurrences are going to be from S. And T is where we subtract the, 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 the letters that we see. And if everything turns out to be zero, it is an anagram. So let's dive into the code. Okay, so diving into the code, I'm not going to live code it here, but I'm just going to narrate it through. I think it's a little bit easier for you guys to read. Our first check right here is I'm checking the length of S and T. If they're different, we can return early because it is not a valid anagram. And then I'll have my S letters object. This is my map between the letter and the number of occurrences um, it'll have. So I instantiate that. And then I'm going to iterate through S to build that map. So for every character in the string S, if it doesn't exist, then we're going to map 
as it occurring once. Now, if I encounter that letter again, we're going to increase that count. This li these lines actually build the map. Now, from line 20 onwards, I'm comparing T to the map. So for every character in T, if that character doesn't exist in my map, I can also return early and it'll be false. But if it is in that map, we can subtract it. And if it becomes zero, we're going to delete that key. And after all the iteration of the characters, if at the end everything is deleted, we'll get an array from object.keys with a length of zero. And if it's zero, we'll return true, otherwise we return false. That's it. Thanks.